So, this morning I'm going to do um, a video of my Harry Potter collection. I know that I don't post videos on YouTube very much anymore. <coughs> That's because the stuff that I was doing, I had to stop because I was getting, I was having too much trouble downloading the shows that I was using for the um, clips and the pictures and stuff. Um, <coughs> so, my channel is basically just going to be whatever I feel like now, whenever I feel like uploading. So, like I said, this is going to be a um, video of my Harry Potter collection. So, before I begin, I just want to say my collection is not very big. Um, unlike some of you, I don't have like thousands of dollars to spend on Harry Potter stuff every month. Like, I am lucky if I get a new Harry Potter item every four or five months. Um, also, there are a few items missing that I could not, for the life of me, find in my room. Um, first, my Hermione wand is somewhere in my room. I have Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them. I have the book, um, but I have no idea where it is. Um... I tried finding all of my Harry Potter movies. I couldn't find any of them except for one that my friend gave me. Um, but I do have them. Not all of the CDs work. So I think it's the second, the third, and the sixth that don't work anymore. I think that's all that's missing. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Oh, and also, I'm writing a Harry Potter fan fiction. Um, so, it's not very good, and I'm not posting it online anymore. But I just thought I would put that out there. Um, okay. So, the first thing that we have here is a sticker that I put on my computer, and it says, Mischief Managed. I got this yesterday. Which, it's been like seven months since I was able to get something from Harry Potter, but I found that at the store yesterday for like three dollars, so yeah. I like it and I like it on my computer because I use my computer a lot, so it's and I'm always like making home movies and stuff, so it's like mischief managed. <laughs> Funny. Um okay. Second, I'll do my Harry Potter books. Um the first one is at school. And there are a couple missing, um, but I have most of them with me today. So I have the Chamber of Secrets. And I'll rate them and everything. Um, so the Chamber of Secrets, it's not my favorite in the series, but I like it still. You know, once in a while I do prefer watching the second one over the others. Um, so it's good. Just not my favorite in the series. And then I have The Prisoner of Azkaban. I really liked the book, but I found the movie was a little too rushed through it. And I didn't really enjoy the movie all that much. But I did like the book. Um, oh, here we go. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Loved the book, and I loved the movie. It's not my favorite in the series, but it's close. And then we have the Order of Phoenix. Oh, I guess I'm only missing the one Harry Potter book. Um, the Order of Phoenix is probably very close to being my favorite. Except for, you know, the fact that Sirius dies. Spoiler alert. Okay. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Not my favorite in the book, but just because Dumbledore dies in it, and I really like Dumbledore. Um, but it is a really good book. And see, I've had these books since I was, like, 12. And I used to bring them to school. So I wrote, like, this book belongs to me and my sister. And then I think this was a list of people who were allowed to touch my book. Um, yeah, um, and last but not least, the Fully Owls. 
I definitely love the book. This one is definitely my favorite. Just because, like, all the, an the questions are answered and, like, I know there's a lot of death in death and stuff and a lot of good characters die, but it's just my favorite because there's a lot of action and suspense and yeah. The movies are pretty good too. So that's the Harry Potter series. Okay. I think I sound like a retard when I do that. Oh. Okay, next um the movies well I only found one. And this is what my friend gave me for my 15th birthday. I've loved this series since I was 6 years old. Um, but I didn't really start like getting really into it until I was 11. But I've loved this series since I was 6. But when I was younger, I didn't really understand exactly what was going on. So I think I was about 11 when I started reading the books and really being able to understand everything that was going on. But I was 6 when I started watching the movies. And I started with the second. Um, fun little fact, I used to call the Basilisk the Green Banum. And we live in a town that's bilingual, English and French. And Banum is French for person. Just so you know. Um, so this is the Deathly Hallows Part 1. I think I like the second part better than the first. But the first is good too. Alright, um, now for my video games. So this is a my Wii game. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I have played this game over, I'd say, 30 times, and I've beaten it over 30 times. Well, 29 times. I haven't finished the game this time around because it's been a while since I was able to play. Um, you know, I've just been kind of busy. So... Oh, the CD is in my, um, bigger CD case. I don't know why. Um, but. Okay, um. I have then my DS games. I have Lego Harry Potter years 5 to 7. Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4. And these games I couldn't finish because they were too hard. Like, I literally couldn't get past the first level. It was ridiculous. So, yeah. But this is just def the Deathly Howls game. But they were very hard. Although, I probably should try them again because it was like when I was 13 and I got those games. So. And that was... Well, I'm 18 now, so that was a couple years ago. Um, so like I said, I do have Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. But I have no idea where it is. But I do have these two others. I have the Tales of Beetle the Bard. And I have Quidditch Throughout the Ages. So I got this for my 15th birthday. And I got this yesterday for $7.00. I haven't, I read this one a long time ago when I was 12, because my friend had a copy, and let me read it, um, but I don't remember much about it, so I would have to reread it to give a good review, but I do love the Tales of Beetle of the Bard. I especially love the Tale of the Three Brothers, but that is probably everyone's favorite, um, but there, I do love all of the stories in here. And then I have my Harry Potter coloring book. Oop, my phone's gonna fall on the floor. My Harry Potter coloring books. I love to color. So I first got this one about two years ago. It's an adult coloring book. I did have a coloring book when I was younger. That was for like children. Um, but I don't have it anymore. Probably just like finished it and got rid of it. Um, so 
So I have, it's very, very hard to color this. I was testing my crayons over there. Um, okay, so it's like very long to color. So I've just done like bits like here and there. I do try to follow the color scheme from the actual image, like the clothes the same color and stuff, but sometimes I don't have the right color. Or the pattern wasn't drawn right, so it's too hard to do the pattern. I ran out of brown, that's why I never finished. But I found my pencil sharpener, so that's good. Oh, I got a message. I'm not going to go through all of them, I'm just showing some. Oh, I did work on that one quite a bit. I tend to like the pictures that have smaller images and that have people in it. Like the smaller images I like. Because it takes a lot of pen to crayon to draw like colored big images. And then I got the year after my friend pointed out this one in the store and said OMG you totally have to get it. $15. So I did. It was the year after. Um, we don't have a bookstore where I live, so when I go visit um, relatives during summer, uh, a relative during the summer and winter, I uh, see my friend and we can go to the bookstore up there. So, this one is Harry Potter Magical Creatures. And, yeah. Alright, so let's see what I, I don't know what I have done in this one. I always end up getting, like, all these coloring books before I've even, like, started the other ones. Probably haven't done very much in this one, though. Because this one was mostly black. And I don't have a lot of black, so. Well, I did fox up there. And I think half a pixie. I do have a marker that I use for red hair, so like that's why almost all of the Weasley's hair is already colored, even if nothing else in the picture is colored. Yes, I do have a special marker. So like, if anyone's ever tried to find the perfect marker for red hair that doesn't look too orange or too red, I have one. What I use is this one. It's called Bittersweet. And it is the perfect color for red hair. So, I'll show you here. This marker is wearing out. And I don't want it to because I don't know where I get by the another one. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it's better without the camera. So... And then the last coloring book I got yesterday for, I think it was $15, I'm not sure. Um, Magical Places and Creatures. So I got the first one about two years ago. Because I got, like, Magical Creatures back in December, and I got the first one the year before, so... I've only started this this morning, so 
I haven't done very much yet. Because I ran out of brown and I ran out of black. Whoopsies. Oh. Thumbs up if you hate Dolores on bridge. Let's see. It works. What's that? Oh, okay, that's just from the picture. I was doing Luna over here, and I ran out of black. See, like, at first I just started coloring her hair blonde because it just popped in my head. Oh, it's Luna. Then I looked again, I'm like, wait, is it really Luna? And I'm like, yeah, it's totally Luna. I don't think I've done anything else because, well, you know, I just started, it's like 15 minutes ago, and... Decided I was bored because I ran out of my black and my brown. See? It's a good hair color for... Okay. I'm trying to make this short. Um, 16 minutes. Crap. Oops, sorry. Um, okay, so... Um, before I show you the wand, the other wand, um, I'm going to add this to the video. Uh, this is a CD. Um, Caesar's my dog. My big golden retriever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is me acting out scenes from Harry Potter in costume. I'm just going to add that to the list. That was when I was 12, so that was, yeah, a couple of years ago. Okay, so the last thing that I could find of my Harry Potter stuff, like I said, it's a couple missing, was my magic light-up wand. So, if you don't know what a light-up wand is, it's basically a battery-operated wand that glows. Um, yeah. So, my Hermione wand is just a wand, plastic wand. This one, I don't exactly know whose one this is supposed to be. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. Because I've been trying to figure it out. Like, it doesn't look like Voldemort's wand. It doesn't look like anyone's wand that I've seen in the movies. So, here we go. So this is a light up one. And I love it that it came with the box. So I got this off Amazon. Although, Amazon's been, like, really sucky lately because every time I buy a new card and I try to use it, it doesn't want to work. Like, it'll keep giving me a message saying that my payment method is invalid when I know that the cards have been activated and I waited 24 hours to use them. And it's been doing that over and over and over, so I've given up on Amazon. Oh, there's my Hermione wand. Okay, well, I found it. Uh, so this is my Hermione wand. Like I said, nothing special. The paint is wearing off a little bit because I've had this for a couple of years now. And I was very childish when I was 15, so I played with it. And, uh, yeah. Like, when I was 15, I was, like, waving it around, casting spells. That was really immature. Uh... <laughs> I forgot that I kept them together. So this is the light up wand. So whose wand do you think this is, guys? It doesn't look like Voldemort's because Voldemort's is not this color or this style. It's kind of like a bone on the top, you know? It doesn't look like Bellatrix's either. So, and okay, here we go. Why is it not working? Oh, okay, here we go. I don't know if you can see that real well. Um, there we go. I think it's running low. Or maybe it's just because it's too bright out. Anyway. That's my Harry Potter wand. So this is my Harry Potter collection. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know whose wand that you think this is. And, uh, 
Oh, yeah. Um, there's also one more thing that I want to get. I saw it at the store yesterday, but it was 39 bucks and dollars. And I, I didn't have $39 to spend on it, but it was the Quidditch set. Um, it didn't come with broomsticks, but it did come with all the balls. Like the snitch, and the bludgers, and the quaffles, and yeah. And I really, really wanted it. Like my cousin and I both had our eyes on it. But it is expensive. It is $39. And like I would have had enough to buy it. But to me, $39 is too expensive for a bunch of plastic balls. So, I am, and it came with the case too, and I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I have a coupon that I can use online to buy it when it goes on sale, which is good since I had to go an hour away to the mall to go shopping because our town sucks. Um, so, I could just go online and when it goes on sale, I can buy it with the coupon, which is so good. So, yeah, um, that's if no one else buys it, but I really hope no one else buys it because I really want it. Anyway, so that is all. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments who's one that you think that is. And my friend of I have been debating, she says that this is not Hermione's one, but it is Hermione's one. So let me know if, if you think this is Hermione's one, because it is Hermione's one. And if you don't think it's her one, whose one do you think it is? Um, yeah, so, that's it. Please don't badger me to upload any videos. Like, I'll take suggestions or stuff, but don't badger me because I'm just going to upload whenever I feel like uploading about whatever I feel like uploading about. I think I woke somebody up because somebody's stomping down the hallway. Anyways, thanks for watching.